Hey guys, today I'm going to be going over Ken Shamrock's first book, Inside the Lion's Den. And I'm going to be going over the most important part of the book, which is the strength and conditioning side, which the Lion's Den did better than everybody else back in the 90s. So the first thing Ken talks about is the result of the fight is going to be determined on how well you're prepared. To truly understand what he's saying here, we must have standards in our fitness that we must adhere to. Now, what are those standards? The first standard is having the ability and the conditioning to be able to spar hard for at least one hour straight. The second standards are being able to do 100 crunches, 100 push-ups, and 500 squats back to back with no rest in between the reps. So the third set of standards were strength based and rookies that would come into the lion's den that would only be able to bench 150 pounds within months, they would train so hard, they would be able to work upwards of 300 pounds plus, which is one example that they had in the book. So seeing what the lion's den standards are, they had to do something in order to hit these crazy numbers. So what did they do to get to where they were supposed to be? So the first thing that they would do to warm up is go for a 15 minute jog. If they wanted to add some variety, they'd change it up to skipping rope uh, for 15 minutes. And then they'd switch off to some neck strength and mobility training. You could choose whatever you want to do on that end. And then they would do either cardio, weights, agility, or sparring past that point. So if they were doing weights that day, then they would do pyramid style training. And the reps and the sets you can see above there. Every set that they would do, they'd add another five pounds. And they would do it a minimum three times per week. And just remember, when you're doing weights, remember to pick an exercise for every body part. Your body is only as strong as its weakest part. Next, for his conditioning, he would keep it pretty simple. He'd run three miles three times per week. He'd also be consistent with his sparring, sparring one hour every day. And before or after practice, he would commit to stretching for about 20 minutes. And also he keeps his core strong by doing 200 crunches every day. Your body is vulnerable to attacks and fights. And by hardening it, it will, it will mean that you're less likely to be winded through body strikes. And just remember, if you're going into a fight, your conditioning must be perfect. If your conditioning is unreliable, then the result of the fight is going to be unreliable for you as well. Just remember, there's no way to tell if your fight's going to last 25 seconds or 25 minutes. So you have to be prepared for it all. So now we're getting to the final idea behind Ken Shamrock's training philosophy. Okay. Remember how previously we were talking about you are only as strong as the weakest part of your body. That is very true. However, there's one exercise that you definitely need to be focusing on. And I'm not going to explain that. The Ultimate Warrior is going to explain this. What do you figure the hardest exercise is to do? Sit-ups. I was going to say... Cardio. Exercise, a weight exercise with the bar. Okay, let's make it more specific. What do you think? Pull-ups. Look at me. A weight exercise with the bar. Using a bar, and it's got weights on it. What do you think? Bench press. You, Jimmy? Um. 
Bench press, sit up, pull up, or squat? Which one would be harder? Squat. squat. <laughs> and you're right. I've been working out for 42 years. If you could only do one fucking exercise, you'd do the squat. If all you did was squat, you would better yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want more videos like this one, please hit the subscribe button down below. And also please like and comment on the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, enjoy and have an awesome day.